All right, so um, can you explain uh, what's going on here with the uh, water tank situation? Sure, yeah. As part of our capital improvement plan, we've been doing some major upgrades uh, over the past 10 years. We've done several new water mains in town, added a couple of new wells, and now we're replacing uh, one of our old storage tanks. Uh, we took down the small 320,000 gallon uh, 1922 uh, storage tank that was right next to the large one over here and we're putting up a new uh, 1 million gallon storage tank. Uh, the great thing about this tank is the process is now uh, glass fusion onto the steel. So that means there's no painting of the interior and exterior. That's one of the biggest maintenance items uh, that you have with maintaining a water tank. Uh, so that will never have to be uh, painted inside or out again. And with this type of structure also, as you can see, it's going up relatively quickly. Uh, they've only been doing that for about uh, a little over a week now and they are slated to have it all finished by next Friday. Uh, it will all be complete. The, this type of tank also allows for uh, future expansion if you wanted to. The way they build this is, as you can see, they have the top on it and they just can slide rings under. They hydraulically lift it up, slide another ring on and just work their way up that way so that way it doesn't require any uh, cranes or any of uh, bigger equipment uh, in order to do it. So it's uh, a very a uh, quick process, a uh, very easy process for it, and then there's also room uh, for expansion if ever need be in the future. Wow. And uh, what about uh, taking the old tank down? Uh, how long did that take? Was that a long process? Uh, it wasn't too long. I think it took them a little over a week. Uh, it was pretty interesting to watch that as well, again, because of the tight workspace. Uh, they basically had uh, a guy with a torch just go down the bolt line, and he torched his way through it, almost like cutting down a tree. He would notch out uh, the bottom and then just tip each piece so that it all collapsed inside so they kept a very small footprint with the old one and they were able to get it down relatively quickly and, and take that out. And uh, something I, I guess I mentioned to you earlier, the, the really neat uh, thing about this location here is this was the original uh, basically water system. This is where it all started. There's two wells that were on site or are actually still on site here. The school uses them for irrigation and the original tank that was here built back in 1883 uh, was the establishment of the water department basically right in this area. Wow. Uh, so when is the uh, projected uh, finish date for this? Uh, for everything to be all said and done and filled and ready to come online is going to be in November. After they have the structure completed on the outside, you need to make the tie-in to the existing water mains uh, right in the uh, lot over there and then we'll need to fill the tank uh, which will take a little bit of time and then uh, disinfection to make sure that everything's all set before it's actually introduced into the uh, drinking water system.